is a global community of over 25,000 investors, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and business leaders, and professional service providers from all around the world. And today marks our 90th Connectpreneur event overall over the last 12 years. It's our 39th virtual Connectpreneur rocket pitch, which is now the largest monthly investor pitch in the world. We've had over 900 presenting companies and our Connectpreneur Investor Network now totals almost 4,000 accredited and qualified private investors, family offices, um, and other types of investors who are interested in investing in the awesome deals which they can meet through our Connectpreneur community and through our events. Our events are all about connecting, and this is why we do these as meetings and not as webinars. So everybody on this call or on this meeting can see and private chat with everybody else. And we also publish a list of all the registered guests in the back of each program book. Hopefully, you've already downloaded the program book. Um, Avery, our, who's our assistant community manager, can post the link to today's program book. It has all of our information on our presenters today, their executive summaries, the run of show, as well as information on our awesome sponsors. A couple things about today's event. We have eight presenting companies. And after our eighth and final presenter, we will open up the breakout rooms. Each breakout room is hosted by a presenting company. So we have eight rooms and you'll be able to enter and leave whichever breakout room that you like. And the purpose of the breakout room is for our presenting companies to go deeper with the investors and partners. And please remember that these rooms are hosted by the presenting companies. So please conduct yourselves accordingly. And also please be respectful and tactful when using the group chat. Uh, you can post your LinkedIn and other information, brief introduction, but please do not overload the chat. And unless you're a presenter, please don't post more than two or three times. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, our presenters will also be posting links to their deck and their executive summary in the in the group chat itself. And uh, they also may be posting registration information for any follow on investor meetings over the next few weeks, which they may be hosting on their own. And um, Again, because the group chat has dozens of messages on it and it's really hard to keep track of it, we suggest that you download your chat transcript before you go into the breakout rooms and that way you can read through them afterwards. Uh, we're also gonna be polling our investors three times today. So after the third presenter, after the sixth presenter and after the eighth presenter, and these polls are for investors only, they are confidential. So we will not be sharing any of the poll results with the audience, solely for the benefit of our investors and for our presenting companies. I also wanna thank our awesome Connectpreneur ambassadors who've done a great job spreading the word about our events worldwide. Special thank you to our awesome prep team. If you're interested, in becoming a Connectpreneur Ambassador, please let us know. Uh, we'll indicate on the poll. Also, if you're interested in sponsoring or presenting at a future event, you can indicate um, such on the poll. Today, we have eight total presenters. Each presentation is around four minutes, no Q&A, so you can save your Q&A for the breakout rooms. And if you're an interested investor, please indicate on the investor polls uh, your interest level, and also stop by the breakout room of our presenters. Our first four presenters will be introduced by Mark Haas, who's the CEO of AEG, the Association for Enterprise Growth. And the next four will be introduced by Sarah Clasper, who's an associate at Next, powered by Schulman Rogers. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have a great YouTube channel. We have 500 plus videos of our alumni presenters, so please check it out and subscribe. And we also offer a free Slack channel for our community with over 4,200 business leaders on it. They're free to join and subscribe. You can network with other members and share information about events or, or yourselves. And we'll put the links to join the both the Slack channel and YouTube on so you can sign up. Uh, finally, a couple of upcoming events. Our next virtual rocket pitch is April 20th. We'll put the link to join it um, in April. And we have an in-person event in Washington, D.C., downtown in the morning of April 20th. So uh, if you're interested, please sign up. We'd love to see you guys. So we can go ahead and get started. Uh, I'd like to put up first... Um, I'd like to put up a poll for our presenting companies. Um, sorry, for our sponsors. And Avery, if you can put the poll up, um, that would be great. This is for our sponsors. And um, if you have any interest in working with our sponsors or have any needs as such, it would be awesome if you could indicate um, your interest. And again, this is confidential and we will keep this only between you and our sponsor companies. And we have um, marketing services. If you're interested in legal services, if you're interested 
interested in application and software development services, if you're interested in accounting services, if you're looking to hire, we have a great um, partner that does executive search. If you're interested in insurance, we have partners that do that, as well as wealth management and estate planning. Um, we also are doing private investor events. That's where we have one presenter and uh, a group of private events uh, investors. We can do that online or in person. And if you're interested in sponsoring or interested in presenting at a future event, uh, please indicate. We'll follow up with you later. Um, but thank you guys for your participation. So we can take that down, Avery, if you don't mind. And we can go ahead and get started with our presentations. Um, to kick things off, I'd like to introduce Mark Haas, longtime Connectpreneur partner. He is the CEO and co-founder of AEG, which is the top alliance of service providers and advisors in the D.C., Baltimore, and Tampa, Florida regions, AEG is expanding into other regions around the United States. Members include some of the leading business professionals in Washington, Northern Virginia, Baltimore, and Tampa, and I'm proud to be the, an investor and chairman of AEG. Mark is currently in fundraise mode, so hopefully he'll post his executive summary and some more information on AEG in the chat box later. Um, but Mark, why don't you give us a few more details about AEG, and thank you so much for your support of Connectpreneur. Thanks, Tian, and thanks for your uh, long participation in AEG and its growth. Uh, we're building a nationwide ecosystem of both elite business advisors and the mid-market CEOs they support. These are 20 million plus CEOs, so the peer group that we're uh, putting together is, is different from other traditional uh, groups. Uh, these groups are going to be knit together so that they provide access to the markets and the services of uh, experts across the country. So as Tian said, we started at D.C. and Baltimore, expanding to Tampa. We'll uh, add a couple cities every year. So we are uh, raising some capital for that expansion. So I'll put our executive summary in the chat box. And uh, if you're a lead advisor or a mid-market CEO or an investor, uh, please reach out to me. Um, our first presenter, uh, Barry Organics is a mission-based company in California that makes award-winning organic hydration products in two massive billion-dollar categories. Their products can be found in leading national retailers, including Whole Foods and CVS. I'd like to welcome founder and CEO, Jerome C. Excellent. Uh, it's a pleasure to connect with everyone. Before I get started, I wanted to tell everyone a little bit about what was the inspiration behind uh, the company. So um, my story as the founder of Berry Organics actually started when I was just 19 years old. I was a former uh, college athlete that was thriving at the top of my game. But unfortunately, on Christmas Eve, when I turned 19, I was hit with a cancer diagnosis. Uh, this cancer diagnosis actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It evolved my diet to an all plant-based, all organic diet that I credit for beating the disease and staying cancer-free for over 13 years. But it also inspired me to start my company. As a former athlete, I saw a major problem in my industry. I noticed that sports drinks in the marketplace and electrolyte products were filled with artificial chemicals and ingredients that were detrimental, not just for athletes, but also for families. Uh, you may have seen articles over the years about our competitors containing controversial ingredients to excess sugar, uh, to even more recently on the front page of CNN, a zero calorie sweetener, stevia, that we all know linked to um, heart attack and stroke, um, and even pediatric electrolyte solutions containing very controversial ingredients. So we wanted to take a good stand against that. And that's how the Berry Organics mission was born. Uh, we were, um, we're currently first to market for the only plant-based organic brand in the $166 billion sports drink category. Uh, and also the uh, billion dollar electrolyte solution category. Our products, Berry Fit and Berry Light, are positioned as the natural alternative to Gatorade and Pedialyte, respectively. Uh, our newest product, Berry Light, is actually the number one fastest growing brand in the category nationwide today, according to Spend's data. And we have also achieved several awards from one of the highest honors, Nielsen's Product of the Year Award, to more recently, the number one best quality sports drink. From a comparison standpoint, in our first category uh, of sports drinks, we're the only plant-based organic brand in the category, um, and we have more electrolytes and half the calories and one-third the sugar of our competitors, using only clean ingredients from coconuts to manuka honey. 
In our second category, same thing, we're the only plant-based organic brand in the space, but we take it a step further by offering only doctor-approved clean ingredients from coconuts to sweet potato juice as our sweetener. So as far as our distribution success, uh, we just recently landed a national deal with Whole Foods Market. Uh, as of two weeks ago, Target announced they'll be launching our brand across the country as well. Um, CVS is adding another 2,000 stores for our brand. And we had two major grocery chains announce they're replacing PD Light with Berry Light. So it's a great momentum going into um, Q2. Now, they often say it's 10% uh, idea, 90% execution. We're proud that our team consists of veterans that have led 10 exits in our space. Sandy Gooch, who sold her company to Mrs. Uh, to Whole Foods Market for $56 million. Michael also led Snapple, Yum Earth, Ben & Jerry's. More recently, we had Ira Lofer join our team. He led three startups in our space from $1.5 million to over $100 million in valuation. Last year, we did... 1.6 million in revenue. This year, we're on track for 3.4 million in revenue. And lastly, we are in the process of raising a one and a half million safe. We're proud that the round is already 67% committed. Um, and as far as notable investors, uh, we had Tech Coast Angels laid our last round, um, Dear Mama Ventures, and 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 many more. Uh, this investment will allow us to achieve 118% growth, land a significant celebrity endorsement. We're currently in talks with an NBA superstar athlete and his wife. Uh, we'll be able to launch our national marketing plan that includes partnering with an army of 5,000 social media influencers and expand on our leadership team and innovation. Uh, the safe is capped at a 17.2 million cap, and we believe that's a great um, value for investors in this round. Current valuation metrics put us above 18 million, and next year we're on track to exceed 42 million. So, with that, happy to open the floor to any questions. Thank you so much. Um, as we found out, the pandemic, while uh, difficult in so many ways, uh, provided a, an opening for a lot of additional businesses to come to the fore, and one of those is in telemedicine. Um, our next presenter is uh, Blue Star Telehealth. I'd like to introduce Rob Ray, CEO. Thanks, Mark. Uh, good morning, folks. I'm speaking to you today from our uh, palatial offices in beautiful downtown Rockville, Maryland. Healthcare is moving towards telehealth. And, and you can see by the screenshots at the bottom of the page how rapidly it's moving. And telehealth, in turn, is moving into the home. And that's because patients like it and because it has positive effects. Look at the blood pressure in the upper right-hand corner being managed in the home. The problem, though, is that in-home care requires a lot of non-clinical work. For every ounce of clinical care in the home, there's a pound of other stuff that has to happen, hardware and logistics and shipping. And healthcare providers are just not good at that other stuff. They don't like it. They're not staffed for it. The solution is to outsource all that non-clinical stuff to someone like Blue Star Telehealth. We allow providers to focus on what they do best. You can see on the left is a provider, on the right is a patient at home, and to connect to connect them to for clinical care requires all that stuff in the middle, patient enrollment and outreach and hardware and software and monitoring and logistics and inventory and refurb and shipping and stocking support and patient support and tech support. We do all those things and we accomplish the CPT codes listed at the bottom of the page like remote patient monitoring and maternal health and population health. Our business model is tech-enabled services, getting paid on a per-patient, per-month basis. We use lots of different tech. We are hardware and software agnostic. We're not shilling one particular solution that we have built. We choose from the best solutions available. Our IP is in our back office ability to deliver all these solutions. There's two ways we get paid. In a fee-for-service world, we perform the duties of a CPT code, and then the provider bills for reimbursement, and we get a portion of that. In the value-based world, we perform the service and the payer pays us and then saves more than what they pay us in avoided cost. Now, there are dozens and dozens of digital tools out there for RPM and CCM and things like that. Most of them, though, are just a software tool. Some have hardware. There are a handful of companies, though, that go beyond the tool and they actually provide the service. But then they provide that service with their own tool, which has to fit every circumstance. 
Blue Star is the only company we know of that is full service and tech agnostic. We pick the best tool for the individual customized situation. This is uh, last year's growth. We tripled in revenues. We exceeded plan for both uh, revenues and patients, and we're continuing to grow at this rate in 23. But even more important is the clinical efficacy. This is a study of 2,500 of our patients that had stage two uncontrolled hypertension, and half of them got into control within just a few weeks of being in our program. That resulted in a 30% reduction in the risk of stroke and heart attack. We grew rapidly last year. We expect to triple in patients this year to about 12 or 13,000, and then double again the year after that. So that by the end of 24, we want to be at a run rate of about $20 million. And at that point, we think we'll be eligible to be acquired by a major healthcare provider that needs our kind of services. We have a few big fish on the line. We are looking at a $20 million a year contract with the VA. We've been working on it for two years. Expect to get notification next month. We have contracts in place with Highmark and Vizient. We're working with United Healthcare and a number of Blues. This is our very good-looking team. We're a military veteran-centric outfit. I'm a retired two-star Navy Admiral. We're certified by the VA as a service-disabled veteran-owned small business. You can see our Advisory board has 14 generals and admirals from all services, including doctors and nurses. We've won a lot of awards from the SBA, from the governor, from the Better Business Bureau, and we're currently serving about 6,000 families with our 42 employees. We're seeking a million dollars in convertible debt as a bridge to an A round later this year of five to eight million dollars. 500,000 has already been funded. Our existing investors include Ziegler up in Chicago, Treehouse Private Equity, Composite Capital, a number of family offices, and then 78 veterans, including six presidential appointees and a bunch of three stars and two stars. Grant Chamberlain said, it's all about trust and delivery, which is why caregivers are looking for a trusted player like us. So thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you in the uh, breakout room. And thanks, Mark. Uh, we'll put up our first investor poll right now, and this is for our first three presenters. We had Barry Organics, Blue Star Telehealth, and then most recently C15 Studio. And this is for our investors only, please. So if you're interested in uh, connecting with our presenting companies, please uh, do indicate on the poll. We'll keep it up for a while. I see uh, poll results coming in. So um, this is a confidential poll too. We're not going to share this with um, with the audience. We're just going to connect the interested investors to our presenting companies. And just as a reminder, we are going into breakout rooms. When we finish our, with our eighth presenter, we have eight presenting companies today. So we'll have eight breakout rooms. And um, we have three more presenters. We'll, we'll do another poll and then our last two presenters and then we'll do another poll. So um, yeah, anyone who's interested, please indicate and we will pass along your contact info to our presenting companies. I still see some people. We'll keep the poll up for maybe another 10 seconds, Avery. Last call for interested investors. Okay, I think we can take that down. I'll turn it back over to Mark will introduce uh, our fourth presenter, Mark. Thanks, Tian. Uh, inadvertent and intentional misuse of, of pharmaceuticals has really reached a, an epidemic scale. And there are a lot of possibilities for, for solving that problem, but one of which is uh, inaccessible containers hasn't been uh, updated for a long time. Um, our next presenter, uh, Caring Closures has uh, a couple products that can actually provide that kind of safety from uh, inadvertent or intentional misuse of pharmaceuticals. Milton Cohen is the president and CEO of Caring Closures. Thank you, Mark, and thanks to Connectpreneur for having us back. I'm Milton Cohen, the CEO here at Caring Closures, or CCI for short. Here at uh, CCI, we are applying a long-forgotten yet proven intervention of the past to solve the epidemics of today. This intervention I'm mentioning is over 50 years ago now, back in 1970, when we had a massive epidemic of children overdosing on aspirin here in the U.S. You see, aspirin is bitter to the taste. Kids wouldn't take it. Manufacturers flavored it like candy in response. And as soon as they flavored it like candy, kids started taking it like candy. And you can overdose on aspirin. 
So massive epidemic. And we intervened with the child resistant cap and closure, which proved access control as an early intervention, generating a 45 percent reduction in U.S. child mortality from drug and supplement poisoning. Such an effective intervention that the entire world implemented this standard. But 50 plus years later, all the world has long forgotten the important lesson in access control and today just sees everyday packaging. Whereas here at CCI, we see a foregone opportunity to modernize an intervention of the past to solve the epidemics of today, like the opioid epidemic, where sneaking pills a few at a time or pilfering is not only a leading source of diversion, but the number one source for teen drug abuse in our country since 2012. Or the resurgent pediatric poisoning epidemic where every eight minutes a child goes to the ER from a drug or supplement poisoning and every 12 seconds a child is poisoned from a common household product. These cost our healthcare system billions annually. They cost our economy tens of billions annually and literally all of them can be contained with simple access control. We started with prescription drugs with our SafeRx line of locking prescription vials used by pharmacies behind the counter to fill controlled substances, substance prescriptions in the case of our in-market teen-proof version on the left, and pediatric fatality risk medications in our coming child-proof version on the right. We launched our teen-proof version into U.S. healthcare in late 21 and have grown to over 150 customers across six different verticals since pre-reimbursement. I'll say again, pre-reimbursement. We tripled healthcare revenue last year. We'll quadruple it this year with a record first quarter under our belt and over 80% of our entire budget sold or quoted. And we expect this growth to accelerate substantially with reimbursement, where we have incredible stakeholder economics and where we already have a Medicaid coverage commitment for treatment drugs with pending clinical results over the next 18 months for all controlled substances. We're finishing a bridge round ahead of a larger round that's already in discussions. And while it says 300,000 on your screen, we're now down to 200,000 that's available for Connectpreneur investors. I wanna finish just by saying, aside from being the most visible intervention in US healthcare of the last 50 years, the most visible intervention of the last 50 years, 10 years from now, our patented, repeat patented cap and closure technology will be as ubiquitous as child-resistant caps and closures are today. And if we're successful, we'll have saved tens of millions of our children and teenagers, tens of millions of kids. I hope you'll join us in our breakout room. Thank you very much for listening. And more importantly, I hope you'll join us in our absolutely critical mission. Thank you. Thanks so much, Milton, and congrats on all of your progress. You guys are doing great work saving lives, and uh, it's quite meaningful. To introduce our next set of four presenters, I'd like to introduce Sarah Clasper. Sarah is an associate with Next, powered by Shulman Rogers, one of our awesome sponsors. Next is disrupting the way startup law is being performed. They offer packaged offerings on a fixed fee basis. Next was recently selected by Law.com and Legal Week as the Startup Emerging Growth Company Law Firm of the Year, beating out several huge and well-known firms. Next was also a finalist this year in the Legal Times Award as the most innovative law firm in the country. Congrats, Sarah, and welcome. Thank you, Tien, and I would like to thank you and Avery and the Connectpreneur team for today's great event. We are very honored to be a longtime sponsor and supporter of Connectpreneur, which is a leading global event that connects entrepreneurs, investors, and all other members of the startup ecosystem. Next, powered by Shulman Rogers, as Tien said, is an innovative new model for delivery of legal services from launch through every stage of growth and has been designed from an entrepreneur's perspective. We offer reasonable legal fees by productizing them into fixed price mm -hmm. packages and our clients work directly with seasoned attorneys through our hands-on legal services model. We also integrate robust technology to create a client-centric experience that is collaborative, efficient, and transparent. The first company I have the pleasure of introducing is Eva MedTech. Eva MedTech develops and markets a novel FDA-cleared medical device that is a new gateway to reduce pain by removing cellular inflammatory waste from soft tissues via lymphatic circulation by using automated MLD therapy. Uh, please welcome John Dinesen, President and CEO. Thank you, Sarah. So we at Eva MedTech are the makers of Neuroglide, which we're excited to introduce to you as a unique medical device that treats both pain and circulation. 
So a million people of uh, people suffer from back pain, about 20% of all Americans at any one time, 80% during their lifetimes. And there's very few uh, options that remove the inflammatory toxins that cause pain in the back. One option is manual lymphatic drainage, otherwise known as MLD, but it's very expensive and inconvenient. You can have to sometimes go up to three or four times a week to receive uh, relief. So we at Neuro at Eva MedTech produce manufacture the NeuroGlide, which is an at-home device that effectively removes the necessary toxins and cellular waste to relieve pain. So you can see that we actually manufacture in the upper right a controller unit, a patented valve module. This is very important because it creates a high flow, low pressure valve, which is very difficult to do as well as a patented pad that the patient lays on. So the patient lays on the device for uh, either 15 or 30 minutes. And what happens is there's 16 chambers in there that remove the toxins from the lymphatic area and then moves that waste through the lymph lymphoids uh, and back into the arterial system and to, to be wasted out. We operate in a huge market, uh, $88 billion addressable market, and we look at our addressable market size of $9 billion. We have multiple patents, um, and we've been already FDA cleared. That's very important as a class two device for our NeuroGlide device for back and neck. We also have a prototype for our knee device that's already been on patients, a lower leg device, a lumbar device, and a cranial sacral device, otherwise known as a scalp device. So we are the only device uh, in the marketplace that we own the trunk. So we are the only device that works on the back in the Spain with, with lymphatics. So uh, we've already been FDA cleared. We have two utility patents that have been issued. We have two others that are in continuation that will also turn into utility patents. We're already in discussions with our distributors as well as several acquisition partners. So we have a team that's been there and done that. Irene was the founder of Tactile Medical, which went public at it was $1.3 billion IPO on NASDAQ. I brought a company to $40 million in revenue that was acquired. So we're looking to do $40 million in the next five years, uh, mainly in workers' comp, the VA, and then eventually direct-to-consumer. Um, at that point, we'll produce, be producing about $15 million of profit or EBITDA. So the company's already raised 3.9 million, and we're now currently raising 3 million. I want to point out that this is growth capital, so it's mainly going to sales and marketing, uh, as well as clinical studies, which I would argue is part of their sales and marketing strategy, as well as new product development. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the breakout group. Thank you, John. The next company I have the pleasure of introducing is Fusion Cyber. Fusion Cyber is a leading force in solving the cybersecurity talent crisis by fostering diversity and securing a safe digital future for everyone. Please welcome Christopher Attes. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here today. Fusion Cyber is solving the talent gap. Uh, there's 755,000 cyber jobs open in the US. That's up from 600,000 pre-pandemic and around 150,000 of those jobs require a clearance. Our nation peer state, China, graduates 2 million kids out of high school each year in cybersecurity and has five Research One universities dedicated to cyber. They'll have 10 by the end of the decade. There's also a diversity problem in cyber. It's 73% white male dominated. So if we're going to fix the uh, number of uh, jobs and fill those jobs, we've got to get more people into the top of the pipeline. So we're solving that cyber talent gap. We're creating these public-private partnerships where we get corporations like Cisco and others that donate uh, and provide scholarships. We work with Capital Business Development Association to review our candidates, and then we work to help place this talent in ready uh, jobs. We have, for the 50 scholarships we gave away last year, we've already had 116 mentors volunteer to assist these students. We have a team that has 20 years plus uh, working in the cyber and high tech industry. I was part of the founding team at Blackboard. I was CTO at Presidium that we sold to Blackboard. And we can talk about the rest of the team in the breakout room. Uh, our revenue is $22,000 per student. We have channels for acquiring those students, corporate donations. 
and those public-private partnerships. So we have that sort of quadruple bottom line. It, it's a generational impact for our students getting to a six-figure job. We benefit our HBU partners. We donated that 35-person bus, benefits the local economy, secures the United States. Our competitive mojo um, at Presidium, we ran uh, large call centers doing enrollment. Uh, and today, we're able to do it 10 times more efficient and 25 times more people power with this technology platform, the single pane of glass that we've built around the student pipeline, the job pipeline, student performance, the donors, and alumni pipeline. Uh, there's a number of competitors out there. I can go into that in more detail when we get into the break room. Last year, we did uh, almost $1.5 million in sales. We'll triple that this year and have expectations of uh, tripling our growth year over year. Um, we had a webinar just two weeks ago. We had 450 veterans transitioning out of the intelligence community and their spouses. Of that, 200 applied for the 25 scholarships that we have in July, uh, and we're continuing to add additional donors to build this business. We're raising $3 million for growth, uh, hiring people, advertising, marketing, building out that single pane of glass, that technology, GPT-4 for tutoring. And we're also uh, building out a mounted SOC security operations center on the campus down in South Carolina that'll be vertically integrated. So we have a place for our students and we already have contracts for that mounted SOC. We're an impact investment. We are a for-profit, but we believe that we can have a $20 billion impact for diversity and veterans uh, with the business that we've put together. This is my fifth or sixth startup and uh, the one that I'm uh, the most excited about. So look forward to talking to you all in that breakout room. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, Chris. Awesome job. Um, we'll put up our second investor poll. This is uh, for our last three presenters. This is for investors who are interested. It's confidential. We will not share the results with, um, with the public. We'll just let the investors, we'll put the investors together with the presenting companies. And again, that was for Care Enclosures, Milton Cohen, um, Eva Medtech, John Dinesen, and Fusion Cyber, Chris Etes. So um, if you guys are interested in learning more or um, investing in these companies, please indicate as such, and we'll pass along that information. While the polls are poll results are coming in, I wanted to let you guys know that we have two more presenters today, after which we'll go into breakout rooms, and we have eight breakout rooms. Each breakout room is hosted by one of our um, presenting companies, and at that point, you can use the opportunity to, um, to ask questions and, and go deeper. So, I still see results coming in. So, yeah, if you're an investor, please uh, please indicate if you're interested. And with that, we'll uh, we'll keep it open for a few more seconds. Last call for investors on the poll. Okay, I guess we can take it down now. Um, and I'll turn it back over to Sarah, who will introduce our final two presenting companies. Next, we have gigmarket.com. Gig Market is the marketplace for gig jobs where people meet and help each other instantly with the neighborhood connected communities. Instead of trying to work to find a worker that can maybe perform your task, you list the job and let the workers find you. This platform will help people connect and get the job done. Please welcome Doug Nguyen. Thank you, Sarah. Um, uh, it's great to meet everyone today. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, I'm uh, excited to uh, introduce you to uh, gigmarket.com. Um, Gig Market is a marketplace for gig jobs, as Sarah introduced. Um, uh, you post a gig and the worker will come and find you. So um, the problem with the gig economy right now is very broken and scattered. And uh, let me ask you all this. Um, you usually have some issue around your house, something like um, a broken sink or um, you uh, have some brand of broken tree you want to remove or uh, you just uh, finish remodeling the bathroom and you have a pile of junk you want to remove. So usually uh, most of people would call friends and family for help, right? Or uh, you go on Google, you start uh, looking for services to uh, uh, get this kind of help. So the process is uh, very um, long and usually the traditional way to get help. And a lot of the time it's very uh, frustrating and it ends up with a lot of unsatisfied experience. And the price, um, most of the time, it's very high in the sky. 
So we offer a new solution. It's gig market. We will reverse the engineer. Instead of you going out to find workers, uh, now you post a gig and the worker will contact you. We put you right back in the driver's seat. It's a lot cheaper and faster in the most cases with no gimmicks. And the worker can hustle without any hustle. So how does it work? Um, you create a gig and the worker will contact you. Now you can choose whoever you want to work with. Um, either the cheapest um, or the um, closest or the most reliable, and they will come and perform the gig. So within the competitive landscape, there's companies that are similar to us, such as uh, TaskRabbit, NG, Handy, Thumbtack, or even good old Crisis. And uh, some of you probably already use or heard of this company, and you also realize that they are very similar in the same way. In a lot of ways, um, they play middleman, uh, the gig, um, the price of the gig is very high because um, on top of paying out for the worker, they have to pay themselves too. And they want to control um, the uh, user um, in communication and payment. Um, and um, funny at the sounds that they offer little to no technology at all. So the user doesn't really enjoy uh, experience a lot of the time. Uh, with gig market, we're going to eliminate all that. So the current market opportunity is very promising. Um, it will reach to over $450 billion this year, 2023. And one third of Americans will be gig workers by 2027. And almost 80% of that reporting that they are happier doing gig jobs than the traditional job. So uh, we launched uh, last year in June, 2022. And the traction we've got so far is 14,000 organic users. Within that, the 6,000 of them are returning contractor and professionals, and they have exchanged over 30,000 messages so far. And uh, over 1,000 of uh, gigs have been transacted on our platform today. So how do we make money? We uh, sell subscription and advertising packets to the workers. We also offer gig boosting function to the customer who uh, need help urgently because we have uh, access to uh, a network of workers. We also expecting some revenue by the end of this year, and it's going to keep growing. So the current team, including me, I'm uh, in charge of sales and marketing, um, along with Tuan Do, he's uh, in charge of uh, technology. Uh, together, we manage a uh, small development team in Vietnam. Um, we have Greg Adams. He currently um, you know, our senior advisor, and he uh, helps us go to market. Uh, together, we have a combined uh, over 50 years of experience. We've been working with a lot of tech companies such as Amazon, uh, Polico, Appians, Amwells, and also uh, U.S. Army and some um, defense contractors. We have been working with um, marketplaces, so we understand very well the dynamic of it. So we have raised uh, $400,000 up to date, and we're asking you $1.5 million. And most of this we will use in uh, expansion to Philly and New York and nationally after. And some of this we will use to upgrade our platform uh, to be smarter gig market using AI and machine learning. And that's it for gig market. Um, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, you um, attend today, and I'm looking forward to see you in the breakout room. And I now have the pleasure of introducing the last company today, Terrace Earth Intelligence. Terrace Earth Intelligence is a geo-intelligence software company with a SaaS platform that combines the best on-demand satellite imaging, 3D visualization technologies, and AI-based change detection to create current 3D digital twins of anywhere on Earth for exploration and situational awareness. Please welcome a company CEO, Norm Cotier. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, we are precision 3D visualization of Earth from space. So you can think of us like Google Earth, but on steroids. So if we look around the world now, there's over a trillion dollars of infrastructure developed annually in remote areas. So if we think clean and green energy developments, wind, solar, transportation, resource extraction, agriculture, forestry, industrial and commercial developments, as they're being developed and planned, companies spend billions of dollars on satellite, aerial imagery, drone imagery, people on the ground to understand where to build, uh, develop those things, and then monitor their operations afterwards. It's come to be that with, with the latest in satellite technology, high-res satellite imagery is the best source to obtain a visual on the ground, but it's flat. We still look at flat pictures. In order to understand where should I build and what is the impact of doing so, especially in challenging terrain, we need to understand the 3D knowledge of the train that we're working on. But this is very difficult and expensive to create today. So enter Terrace. 
So Terrace is a cloud software platform which is, provides for an automated, near real time situational awareness. That's in 3D, as we call it. So imagine, start with uh, your Earth. You're going to develop a new wind farm in the middle of a challenging area that you've never been to before. With Terrace, you can simply identify the area on the world. Terrace then takes care of the rest. It will task satellites to shoot imagery of the area. It will go and obtain historical imagery about that area and everything around it to A, tell the story of how the land became to what it is now. It will also develop and create these immersive 3D environments that enable you to virtually travel to that location to understand what it's like being there without putting boots on the ground. Our AI-based change detection technology will also comb through all the history and let you know what's being developed and has been developed around you. So those are the things that help you understand the impact. This helps these energy developers and infrastructure developers explore opportunities far faster. It reduces the time and effort because you don't have to put the boots on the ground to make the critical decisions about where to go. And it helps you to de-risk with all stakeholders these potential developments by providing visual proof and AI-backed uh, change information. An example of our product, on the left, you would see a typical satellite image that would come from a satellite. On the right is what Terrace does to these. It turns them into these virtual environments that you can fly through and land in just like you were there as a starting point. There are huge markets for what we're doing. We've broken them down into, one, energy exploration. So think green and clean, wind and solar, infrastructure monitoring for transportation networks and commercial industrial developments. Disaster management is a huge area where we provide a, a, number, a, a lot of value. And we're also very involved in defense sector and helping in, in planning. So a lot of markets, we're starting out in the renewable energy sector just as a beachhead market, but there's so much more to accomplish. So what we're providing right now is the most realistic, lowest cost, most virtual environment to enable you to make the decisions. We we are not tied to any satellite providers, so we can provide imagery from the best of the providers that operate around the globe. We also provide a very low technical investment to get our platform off the ground, unlike a lot of our competitors that would be out there. We're currently in the prototype stage. We've got pilot customers in energy development, deforestation, defense, and land use planning, strong partnerships with satellite image providers, and we continue to build more so we can bring the best product to our customers at the lowest cost at the fastest rate. Zero entrepreneurs in the team, large team operators between our team, We've accomplished four successful exits in the tech sector, raised over $3 million, and done four company acquisitions in the past. We're poised to take this. We've done it before. We're poised to take this business where it needs to go. Our revenue model is predominantly SaaS, so we'll be getting subscription revenue starting at the renewable energy sector and moving on from there. We've earned or raised 700K in pre-seed revenue. We're now looking for one and a half million seed equity round to scale our engineering team up, get our platform to market and generate sales this year. We are the next era of situational awareness for on Earth. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you about anything in detail in the breakout room and thank you very much. Awesome, thanks Norm, great job. Now we're gonna put up our third and final investor poll. This is for uh, investors only. And if you're interested in uh, getting to know our last two presenters, we'll make sure that you guys are connected. Um, this is confidential poll, by the way. So we have Gig Market by Doug Nguyen and Terrace Earth Intelligence by Norm. Uh, thank you so much, guys. We'll keep the poll up. Uh, I do want to say that we're going to open up the breakout rooms in about two minutes. We will have eight breakout rooms, one each one is hosted by one of our presenting companies, and you can use that as an opportunity to schedule time for a deep dive meeting and or schedule time for um, ask questions or, or whatever you need to do. So uh, we'll keep the polls open still. Um, anyone interested in uh, gig market or tariff, please indicate now. And um, I still see some results coming in. We'll keep this open for a couple more minutes or a couple more seconds, rather. Um, and then, okay, Avery, why don't we put up our second and final sponsor poll. Our sponsors are listed in the back of our program book. I want to shout them out. Uh, this is, if you're looking for any services that our sponsors may be offering, I want to thank Next, powered by Shulman Rogers, Modus Create, Stella Pop, AEG, Shulman Rogers, Entrepreneurs Organization, Pitchforce, Enterprise Transformation Solutions, Maryland Tech Council Venture Mentoring Services, Keretsu Forum, Truist Bank, 
Ryan and Wetmore, Startup Grind, Refraction. For those of you in the D.C. area, if you're interested in the best co-working space, we're broadcasting from Refraction. It's here in Tyson's Corner. A few minutes for our nation's capital. Please uh, let us know, and we're happy to introduce you to the CEO, Esther Lee, who has special deals for our community. Uh, I want to thank the Baltimore Angels, Georgetown University Entrepreneurship, Angels and Life Sciences Investors, and the New Jersey Angels, Northern Virginia Chamber of Commerce, the Dingman. Angels of the Robert H. Smith School of Business at University of Maryland, FITSI, NABO, National Association of Business Owners and Entrepreneurs, the annual Wharton DC Summit, the MIT Alumni Angels of Washington, DC, and Founder Institute. And thank you guys for supporting us and also to the audience. Thank you for participating in our polls. Uh, last call for the polls before we open up the breakout rooms. Um, if you guys are interested, remember download the uh, text chat before you go into the breakout room. So um, click on the chat uh, icon on the bottom of your toolbar and then click on the three dots and then hit save. Uh, because once you go into the breakout rooms, you might lose your chat. And I know there were a lot of messages in the chat. So with that, we're gonna open up all the breakout rooms and um, you guys are free to go in and out of whichever breakout rooms you want. We have, we'll be open till one o'clock um, Eastern time. So we have another hour or so. So feel free to go um, meet the presenting companies and enjoy the rest of the uh, the meeting and, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much.